All right, so we've talked to a lot of rescue groups focusing their attention on different types of dog breeds. Right. And then we've talked to others, they really specialize in cats. Lusco Farms has a different focus, donkeys. They apparently make great pets, and there's plenty of them who need food, medical care, and more. Here to explain how you can help founders, Scott and Laura Sheehan, along with Stewie. Good to see you guys this morning. Hey, thanks nice for having me. We're taking one heck of a gamble getting a donkey <laughs> in the studio here. He's handling it pretty well, don't you think? He, this is his nature right here. This is what you see all the time with uh, with Stewie. He's very well mannered, and uh, a lot of donkeys can can be the same way. He, he was a little tentative stepping over the cables. Yes, you know uh, he saw something there that could be a potential hazard. What was going through his mind there? Uh, he was he was sizing it up. He didn't know what it was, so he took a moment to look at it. We walked across the cables and then came back, uh, and the second time he walked right over him once yeah. he knew that once the, he figured the, there out, was no threat. There's no threat there. But yes. he's very gentle, very sweet. What's his story? What's the background on Stewie? Uh, Stewie came to us, what, Mother's Day two years ago? Yep. Mother's Day <clears throat> two years ago, Stewie came to us. Um, we actually named him after Stewie from the Family Guy uh -huh. because his story was that he was well, uh, very mean and, and uh, was stomping chickens and things like that. Mm -hmm. And we got him to the rescue and found out there was that was about the farthest from the truth. Mm -hmm. He's actually a very uh, mild-mannered donkey, so he was just unwanted. And uh, he's actually become the mascot for us. Now. What are we looking at here in these pictures right here? He just wasn't taken care of. Are those his nails? Is these are actually another. This is another case That's we had, uh, and this is a mule that came in this year in March. And uh, we had four mules and a, and one donkey, uh, an overbreeding situation. And these are just some of the things that we do at Lusco Farms. We we'll, we will take in the most difficult cases. Uh, we only focus on mules and donkeys, so we can do that. Uh, but you can see there that that was a pretty, uh, this is the same mule now that you see on the screen at once she's trimmed. Yeah. So they are, you can fix it, you can manage through it, uh, but it costs money. What did you see? What were you noticing? Are, are people, uh, they raise these animals and they just, they can't take care of them, whether it's time or money. How, what type of situations do you usually see? Uh, that really is exactly what we see. It's either uh, there's a death, mom, dad mm -hmm. passes away, the kids are in, in the city. Uh, they don't mm -hmm. want to go back to the farmstead or, or the acreage, and the animals left, so they reach out to us to find a, uh, a rehome them. Then there's other times that it's just a financial burden on somebody. Yeah. Why do donkeys make good pets? Um, oh, it's a great question. <laughs> what you can see, Stuart here. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times people, especially in the Omaha metro area, are moving out to acreages and, and want their own little piece of paradise, and they're thinking about getting something for the kids that's safe. Mm -hmm. uh, ponies can be safe if they're w very well trained. Uh, a donkey, however, just needs to be um, domesticated with the family. Doesn't really need a trainer per se. Uh, you can actually train a donkey fairly easy yourself, yeah. uh, you, if, as long as you're just using them for a pet and not riding them. Uh, and, and they actually come around much quicker than a pony. Does around. Stewie really enjoy these goggles here? <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. He looks, these glasses? He looks is, good in them. He looks good. He, he doesn't bother him, though? He enjoys nope. them or what? No, he, <laughs> he is a, he's, he's become our <laughs> mascot, right. and he will, uh, you know, we do a lot of community events. Uh, Los Hills Harley Davids is obviously one of our sponsors. Right. And uh, we did an Easter egg hunt with the kids earlier in the mm -hmm. spring, and he walked around with the Easter bunny all day. Uh, nobody was holding on to his lead on. rope he, with his little bunny ears, and he just walked around and talked to the kids. <laughs> Let's talk about the fundraiser that you have coming up, because that's a great way people can help, even if they don't necessarily want to adopt their own donkey. What's planned? Uh, well, it's, a, it's a great thing. It's uh, for the whole community. We've got a poker run that starts in the morning from, from 10 to noon. So um, all the riders that, that have the, the bikes get to go out on a run, uh, come back in uh, in the afternoon and enjoy the rest of the general public, which is where they can help. Um, we're having a barbecue and a music uh, uh, and a, a live music down there, uh, Hot to Trot is a great local band here mm -hmm. in Omaha that uh, donated their time. So and we got Trot it, and a donkey. It seems yes, appropriate. Yes, it does. <laughs> and all the money raised, does it go to Lusco Farms? Every bit goes back to the to the rescue. We are a nonprofit rescue, 100% uh, unpaid volunteers. Myself, mm -hmm. Lou, we work full time. We do this as a passion on the weekends and every other waking moment we have. Uh, but uh, all the money goes back to the animals. We've maximized yeah. our time here with Stewie. Right. He's getting a little impatient. <laughs> he's done he's ready though. to go. Very he took the glasses the off and he's yeah. ready to go. Right. Stewie, yes, thank is. you very so much. Let's so let's get him out here. Stewie and donkeys like him. <laughs> LusCoFarms.org. You can find more about that event coming up uh, August 22nd. Right. We Guys. just want to say thanks to our sponsors, Los Hills, Just Good Meats of Omaha is providing the barbecue, mm -hmm. and Cole's Pharmacy and Healthcare for uh, paying for the band. Yeah, great community Caring partners right there. Caring about the donkeys. We yes. love it. Right. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for coming. Thanks, guys. Thank see you. Guys. Appreciate see it. you, Stewie. Thank you. Take care, buddy. Bye. Watch those cables. <laughs> uh, guests of the Morning Blend start their day with coffee from Pears Gourmet, the official coffee of the Morning Blend. 
Learn more online at omahamorningblend.com. Now, technology is awesome, unless you put something electronic in the wash machine. Up next <laughs> is Peter Fink have a solution. He'll take on three car questions. And at 923, what's better, the school year or the summer? We'll see what our back-to-school panel of parents and students have to say.